Hey guys, welcome to Halo Full Boyfriend. I have been so excited to play this game. It's about birds. I mean, come on, freaking birds. <laughs> My favorite animal. I just haven't been able to lately because we've got The Sims and it's kind of ridiculously addicting. My boyfriend has gotten into it. And we've both been playing Sims, and I made a new character for myself, not my Let's Play one, and yeah. What should my last name be? Jenna. Jen. Oops. Genteel, like cockatiel. Is Genteel okay? Yeah. Hateful boyfriend includes a powerful visualish visualization model allowing even the birdliest birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? No, I already decided I do not want to see human portraits. I'd rather just be the birds. That's all I want. No one give me spoilers. I want to do everything on this game because. This is like my calling right here. <laughs> St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. Already a year? I should probably say, the school is known for one thing in particular. The school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I must often ask why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. No, it's not. It's very short. <laughs> not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryu? Ryuta? Usually you have been ready for an hour by now, Jen. This is an ugly bird. <laughs> Do not approve. Overslept? I'm judging the birds based off of their appearance. I'm gonna go with the cutest bird ever. This rock dove is named Kawabra Ryuta. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Aww. <laughs> he may be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Oh, it's April 8th. Okay. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Rita. Hope I'm saying his name right. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we have to near hurry to class. Jeepers! No good being late on the first day. And so Rita pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that was lost fun. Alright. Very excited. Let's go. First term. Oh my god, look at those birds. <laughs> the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon for the pigeon. Is that some mouse? I hope this mouse wasn't viewable on there. I think we're in 2 3. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Oh my god, he's cute. Kazuaki. Kazaki? Kazuki. Good morning, everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> er, I'm Nanaki Kazuki. I seem to be your teacher this year. He seems to be the teacher. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. He fell asleep. <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! He sleeps with his eyes open? Kayuki... Kayaki? Oh, Kazuyaki Nanaki. This quail... This quail is Nanaki Kazuki. He's famously sopo, soporific math... Jesus, I can't read these words. <laughs> I had heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Even birds. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't that a little warm in here? Which reminds me, if a transfer student, please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Oh, man. 
What is the point? I have no wish to speak with common heirs. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. <laughs> oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. Oh, this bird is so nice. <laughs> but we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into clocks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Shirogane Level Seguya. I hope I'm getting, like, the proper accent here. If this even sounds like a decent accent, I don't know. <laughs> it seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya, whose feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryuta and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already! Today's slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll turn them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Oh my god, he's cute! Or not, a morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. N not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to the book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Teal, Jen, a sophomore. What about you? Y you're... Nagiki. Fujishiro. Nagiki. Freshman. Fujishiro Nagaki kun Oh, hun. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. Aww. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh. You should have been instructed. Oh, I forget how to do it. <laughs> you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say about your own brother? After all these years. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait. Just, uh... I guess even if we're in the same school... Now what's done is done. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Is there really a story? They're just brothers. <laughs> hey! You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. He's a pretty bird. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. Never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. You're a gen, right? How did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Duh. Oh my god. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you're a friend of Sequoia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class. That's all. I'd never have thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain. So good luck. Mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone! Yay! <laughs> it's like five minutes of Fridays. Yay! <laughs> huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? 
He said he was going to the infirmer infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that you think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Oh, what a good friend. Excuse me. No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Rita? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Wait, or did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Not like Rita. I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Eth -la -la. Nope. What did these even do? Care to find out? Oh my god. <laughs> Doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. No, thank you. Shoo. Shoo, are we mine? I will mean it. Mean it? I will mean it. This partridge is Awamina Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with or even worse things. I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? Ninja birdie. You don't look like you have a good reason to be here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta Kawara from 2 3 was supposed to be here. He's gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you, I'll be going now. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Finally out of that den of evil. Ryuta's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining the club last year. Maybe I'll go look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. <laughs> Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. Oh, it's gonna be adorable. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. I wake up as having a tantrum. I was like, oh boy, I wonder who that is. Oh, it's not the same one. Okay. Cuckoo! This is no pudding for a man. Cuckoo! Oko-san rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice of the pudding. Why, why do you care? It's pudding. Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. I like the music, his theme song. <laughs> cool! Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool! Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members, but this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jest, young lady. Oko-san used wing attack. <laughs> it's super effective. That's so funny. <laughs> They'll rue the day they cross Oko-san. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Oko-san was now trying to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at Pigeon Nations. That was beautiful. Is there a way to save? I should check. Oh crap! Oh no! Stop! Oh no! Oh! I don't know. I just screwed up. Oh my god. Now I don't know what all that was said. Wow, I failed! Well, you know, I'm just gonna end it there. And before I go continue on next time, I'll just go through that again. Obviously, I can just click that button, I guess, now that I know. Oh my god, I just can't believe I screwed myself like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is Hateful Boyfriend, Pigeon Dating Simulator game. It's freaking awesome! <laughs> it's like my kind of game, totally. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Um, and comment and subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.